Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? So, um, today I have for you, um, uh, Black Ops 3 gameplay footage. Um, so actually I was playing Hardpoint on Nuketown 2065, <laughs> um, and I happened to go 63 and 1. I managed to pull 63 kills while only getting one death. Um, honestly I've never gotten a gameplay this good. I was hoping to get a flawless game, however I did end up dying, which was a little sad. Um, today I am trying something new, I am going to be making a much longer video than normal. So I believe this video is actually about 8 minutes long, um, but it's going to be for a good reason. So, um, just so everyone knows, um, Call of Duty World War 2 is coming out in 17 days. I have not been giving it a lot of thought, I have not been hyping this game at all, but I am just so excited that we are almost at the day, because we have waited a whole year of this shitty Call of Duty that probably no one played, so that means we've all been stuck with BO3 or other games, me primarily Rainbow Six Siege, that game is still fantastic and it's been out for almost two years now, they absolutely nailed that game, but in this video, we're going to be talking about the previous Call of Duties so we can hype up the anticipated release of this new one coming out in only 17 days. So I'm going to skip Infinite Warfare because that game was god awful and I'm going to head straight to Black Ops 3 and I'm not going to be talking about it for too long. If you like the futuristic stuff, then you probably realize that they did the movement system the best. They made it flow really nice and it wasn't choppy and clunky like advanced warfare and it also doesn't feel awful like infinite warfare and really they nailed it with the guns the guns are really nice um pretty um balanced um there are some favored uh like i prefer the cuda and the razorback but there were a lot of ars to choose from um, shotguns were decent in the game, I know some people will complain about them, um, the snipers were good too, so, really, and then they brought on DLC weapons, which was nice, so, I actually happened to have some of those DLC weapons, so, um, I thought that was a really good mix into the game, and the maps, the maps were alright, they weren't amazing, um, however, they were, they were playable, and there were only a few that I didn't really like at all, um, and so next we're going to move on to Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, I know a lot of people hate this um, Call of Duty. However, um, it was one of my more enjoyable ones. In fact, it was um, it was one of... No, no. It was not one of my favorite. Don't get me wrong there. However, before all the futuristic shit, I thought it was a pretty good Call of Duty. So, um, yeah. I, I don't know why everyone hates on it so much, but... Really, the guns were all really good. I, I had trouble, well, I had no trouble using most of the guns. Um, I don't know why everyone hated it, but I, I, like, I really don't understand. The maps were well designed and stuff. I know some people will say they're too big and stuff, but um, really, it, I don't know why people hated that game. The maps, I remember the app maps being awesome. Really, the only one I didn't like was Chasm. And then, like, the Honey Badger, the AK, they were all good. The MTAR X was good. They were just, I don't know. And even the LMGs were pretty good. Like, I remember using the M27 IAR or whatever. That gun was amazing. And, like, I got a lot of chems in that game. Honestly, that was, like, my best Call of Duty. I ended up getting, like, 30-plus chems. And if you don't know what a chem is, it's, um, 25 kills without dying. And also, I forgot to mention... Uh, the nuclear metal in Black Ops 3 is 30 gun kills without dying. Um, so that is very important because that is actually very hard to do. In fact, it was only my third nuclear at all dirt um, in my whole two years, basically two years of playing Black Ops 3. <coughs> um, so next we're going to be moving on to um, <coughs> Black Ops 2. I know my voice sounds a little funny right now, but I'm still getting over this sickness. I still have a lot of mucus in me. And I'm very, like, very congested and stuff. So my voice probably does sound very funny. Um, but bear with me. Um, anyways, Black Ops 2 was by far my favorite Call of Duty. They did everything right in the game. The maps were very well put together, very well designed. The guns were 
pretty damn good. I remember using a multitude of them. MSMC was one of my favorites, along with the, um, oh god, why am I blanking out here? Oh, the M8, the M27 was good in the game. Oh, the AN94, they were just, the ARs were excellent in that game. Um, but the MSMC was probably the one submachine gun I, I would use. And then zombies, they, they absolutely, the zombies experience was amazing. Every one of the DLCs was great. I thought Die Rise was great. Um, Buried was fun. Mom with the Dead was fun to play. Origins was my favorite. Campaign was alright. So overall, best Call of Duty in my mind. But um, before Black Ops 2, we had Modern Warfare 3. Now this was my favorite of the Modern Warfare series. And actually, it's my second favorite Call of Duty at all time. So... The campaign, I thought it was a pretty good ending to the whole Modern Warfare series, but who really knows, they they could be making a fourth one if um, they realize the trend that the older Call of Duties did really well. So like, that's why they might also be making Black Ops 4 for the next Call of Duty, because they realize, or Activision is they, they realize that these older Call of Duties have name to them, they have recognition of being so good. So if they want to pull in some money, they're probably going to go with titles that have been series in the past. And it makes sense financially. But anyways, Modern Warfare 3 was amazing. Honestly, there was no map I can think of right now that I did not like. And actually, this last weekend, um, I did end up playing um, Modern Warfare 3 on a friend's console because um, a couple people here have... Xbox 360s. I'm personal PlayStation guy, but I can work with the Xbox. So, and I just went back and I had a lot of fun playing that game, really. Um, but enough about Modern Warfare 3. Let's talk about our last Call of Duty that I played, or actually the first one I played te technically is Modern Warfare 2. This game was phenomenal. Um, maps were all right. The guns were all right. Um, and yeah, I thought. For my first Call of Duty, it was a fun experience. Um, let me all know what you think down in the comments below. Did you like the longer video? Um, if you liked it, don't forget to press the like button. If you agreed with my points, press the like button. And if you didn't like the longer video, if you don't agree with me, then feel free to press that dislike button and tell me in the comments below um, what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> and if you disagree with what I had to say, tell me that. Um, yeah, just give me some feedback i want to know if this is what you guys like um otherwise that's going to wrap up the video for today hope you enjoyed the music in the background and i will see you all thursday for a brand new video